Solarcam 2008 has introduced a new machining option within HSM called offset cutting. This allows us to choose a specific path that I want to have the tool work on an offset pattern from that path. Let's take a look at how this works. I'll start by opening up HSM and choosing the option of offset cutting as seen here. The tool I'll be using in this particular case a six millimeter ball end mill and my drive boundary will be this particular curve that I see here. I'll choose that curve and that'll be it. What I basically want to do is I can work from that curve either in this direction or in this direction or in both directions. Let's continue on now. Now in my clear direction I can say I either want to work off to the right of the geometry that I've chosen or to the left or to both sides. Let's take right and I also have the cutting direction. I can go either across, which will be perpendicular to the uh, geometry that I've chosen, or parallel along the geometry that I've chosen. And I'll take, in this particular case, I'll choose along. In my constraint boundaries, I'll use created automatically. And in my passes area, we have a new option here called right clear offset where I can either fill in a value that I need or I can actually take the value off the part itself. If I were to go to the right of the part and click on this edge over there, it will automatically fill in the value of how far the, I want the offset to go. I also have my step over. Let's put it at every millimeter. Now let's take a look at the results. If I were to look at my simulation, you'll see that the tool will be working on the path and in this particular case it's working one way. Obviously in my links I can have it go bi-directional but let's go further back to our dry boundaries again. Now we have our clear direction and I want to change it now to both, to have it go both to the left and to the right. Now when I go to the passes not only do we have a right clear offset but we also have a left clear offset. I'll choose that edge over there, do save and calculate, and when I use the simulation you'll note that it is going from one edge to the other edge. Not going from one edge to here and then going back and doing the other edge to, the, to this edge, rather going from one straight to the other. Now let's go back to our drive boundaries and instead of choosing along this time, I'll choose across. Now if I do save and calculate, and then do my simulation, you'll note that it's working across the geometry that I've chosen rather than along the geometry that I've chosen. 